What's up? What's up? Welcome to another episode of the Twenty Dollar Chef. Today I'm gonna make like this honey garlic fried chicken like whatever dish. To me, the most important part when I'm cooking food in my house and I'm experimenting with some new shit is to make sure I got a nice glass of wine so I stay focused. You know, if you're a cocktail person, get yourself a nice cocktail. If you're a beer person, you get it. You know, we're just hanging out at the house. Maybe you're just tired of partying with everybody. Maybe you want to just lay up by yourself for an evening. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you want to invite some people over. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It's your life. You're going to do what you want to do. I'm going to come in hot. Let's see what we got here. I like a nice Pinot. Oh, that's going to be one of those strong California Pinots. You know what I mean? A lot of blackberry aroma in there. We got a nice medium body. Good color. It's almost like it was kissed by oak. And a nice, perfect amount of spice, you know? Almost like an Asian spice in there. That's why I went with this one. If I'm making myself a nice little honey garlic chicken dish, does it sound American if I say fried? Yeah, honey garlic fried chicken dish? Yeah, I know. But don't worry, we're gonna make a nice sauce. We're gonna deep fry the chicken, throw some sesame seeds on it, get a couple of scoops out of my brand new rice cooker, and keep it moving. Here we go. Let's cut some chicken. Coming in hot, the beast. Get that sharpener out, you know what I mean? Boom. Boom, got myself a couple pounds of chicken. Do some work. I'm not sure this is probably the way you're supposed to cut chicken breasts in half. That's how I do it. Gonna go down the middle here. Make a little chicken nugs, you know? Recipe called for one pound of chicken. Nah, man, I need two pounds of everything, dude. I need two pounds of chicken. I want two pounds of spare ribs. I want two pounds of weed, okay? Everything's in two pounds. This fucking cutting board over here doing circles and shit, like it's a goddamn it's Lazy Susan. All right, chicken's cut up. The buzz is setting in, you know what I mean? I'm starting to get light on my feet. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw our chicken in. To prep the chicken, I'm gonna throw some cornstarch in, the eggs, the soy sauce, and then I'm gonna set it to the side and just kind of let it marinate and lay up for a second. Put it in the refrigerator for a little while. Get our sauce rocking and rolling. This is where the magic happens, okay? This is where we cross international borders. All right, first thing we need in a little bowl over here. Quarter cup of water. Now the recipe right here calls for at least a half a cup of soy, but you know, I got two pounds of chicken, so I'm gonna go more. It says at least five teaspoons of honey, which means we're gonna go ahead and do about 10. Jesus, you gotta be strong to squeeze this motherfucker. Gotta come in hot with that sesame oil, you know? Not too much. That looks like about enough to me. Let's get that brown sugar out. Ugh. Anything with brown sugar is my homie. Whoops, that's probably way too much, but we'll see. Let's get to whisking all that. All that honey and sugar. There's gonna be a fat piece of shit with this one. But it's chicken, so it's healthy. Next move, over to the pan. You know, when I played high school basketball, I was a two guard, and if I passed the ball off to the right like this, they wouldn't consider it a no-look pass. If I passed it to the left, and I, didn't, and I kept looking straight, they were like, whoa, this kid looks like Pistol Pete. But if your boy hit him to the right like that, they thought, well, he could see the ball. That's a real eye joke, guys. Okay, you see how I did it there? Young creative fucks, who, who are you looking at? Let's go in hot with the ginger and the garlic. Now that smells delicious. Fresh garlic, fresh ginger, just get nice and softened up here. All right, a separate bowl. I think we need like a little bit more water, a little bit more cornstarch, a couple teaspoons or some shit, then get to whisking, bro. Give it a little thickness, like that ass. I like my sauce like I like fat ass butt cheeks on my lady, okay, thick. Boom, coming in there with the sauce. Now, with the cornstarch water mix, we're gonna slowly just let that drip in there. Little thick ass water cornstarch mix and slowly mix that in. And this is why it's always important to have one hand free. You're whisking and sipping, my man. You're whisking and sipping. All right, we're getting a good, thick, consistent sauce right here. Gonna turn the heat down a little and get our chicken rocking. We're gonna drop in some flour, some cornstarch, mix it up. Pull our chicken out. Look at that, just get marinating in there. Little nugs. All right, you know what? I was being a little bitch. What am I doing over here? I'm gonna get my hands in there. Get dirty. I'm gonna fry these bitches up, okay? And then I'm gonna take them out for a few minutes, let them dry, and then throw them back in there. We're talking maximum crispness. We've been in about four minutes. Look at it, minimal contact. We don't wanna knock off the breading. All right, I let these, I let these whole ass nugs float out here for about five minutes, and now I'm putting them back in the oil. Put them in there for a couple more minutes. Max crispness. Max, max crispness. The crispiest of the fucking crispy. Merry crispness. Garnish game, gotta be strong on this one, dude. I know occasionally we could fuck up the garnish game or whatever, 
but today's not one of them days, okay? All right, you know what time it is. Time to get the sauce, throw in our chicken, bed the rice, hit it with some garnish and some sesame seed. Next thing you know, we're the happiest person on the planet. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's on the ladder, booze. Get these crispy ass nugs. Look at this. Get them in there. In the sauce. Look at that nice thick sauce you cooked up. Sometimes you just gotta step up your fried chicken game. Pretend like you work at some sort of Asian restaurant. Just killing the game, look at that. It's about time to plate, you know what I mean? It's showtime. Oh shit, empty glass alert. There, real, real. Fucking red fire alarms and all that stuff. Get more in there before your blood stops flowing and you die. Okay, we're good again. Let's get the rice. Perfect rice. Coming in hot with our delicious ass honey garlic chicken. Look at that, look at that. Give yourself as much as you wish they gave you in the restaurant. Coming in hot with the sesame seeds. I'm not even done. Oh, look at this, give her a mix. Look at that. Mayday, mayday, let me call into myself. Hello, self. Yeah, listen, you need to relax, you're going too hard. Take it down a notch, you don't need to kill everything. I'll talk to you later. Look at this thick, delicious sauce. Sesame seed, a little this, a little that. Mmm. That's this episode of the $20 Chef. See you guys next week.